Welcome to the weather brief for, by the National Weather Service in Albuquerque on Saturday, January 16th, 2021. Here's the week at a glance for the next six days. Tranquil, mild weather continues through Sunday and well into Monday before all eyes turn to a potent winter storm system to roll through the area Monday night, mainly through Tuesday morning. The system is expected to roll down the west coast of the United States and hang around off the coast of the northern Baja Monday through Tuesday, but all the while through New Mexico will be providing moderate to heavy snow favoring the northern mountains. And it looks like the most uh, impactful part of this weather system will be the potential for dangerous gap winds early Tuesday morning through Albuquerque. Of course, these gap winds will stretch from Santa Fe down through Albuquerque and through uh, Socorro, most of the Rio Grande Valley, but the peak wind gusts of 50 to 60 mile per hour are likely to focus through the Albuquerque metro area. Afterwards, conditions look to gradually clear out late Tuesday through Wednesday, an intermission of sorts, before the core of this storm system finally comes back ashore at the west coast of the United States and rolls through mainly southern New Mexico, giving a chance for rain and snow, mainly, mainly for areas south of I-40. So let's focus in more on, those, on that wind forecast. Here's a look at the our forecast wind speeds across New Mexico starting Monday at 5 p.m. As you can see, not much going on in terms of strong winds, but as we go towards uh, the Monday evening time frame, you can see those gap winds reaching the Sandia and Manzano mountain ranges. 21 miles per hour at Albuquerque. These are sustained winds, and that increasing to 30 miles per hour by 11 p.m. to midnight. Now these are sustained winds. Peak gusts could re could reach up to the 45 to 60 mile per hour range during this time between 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. and into Tuesday morning. As you can see, those stronger winds in the green and light yellows start reaching the continental divide as the backdoor front reaches further west into New Mexico Tuesday morning. And those winds will continue on to sunrise Tuesday morning before gradually tapering off Tuesday morning to uh, noon on Tuesday and pretty much coming to a close breezy with breezy conditions lasting Tuesday afternoon. Of course, this is the forecast as of Saturday. These wind speeds are subject to change and greatly depend on how far west the core of the uh, winter storm system tracks uh, further west over Southern California and the Northern Baja. Weaker winds would be favored if this storm tracks a little bit further west, and stronger winds would be favored if this storm tracks a little bit further east, closer towards, say, the lower Colorado River Valley. So something to keep an eye on over the next few days as we get closer to the system. Here's a look at our expected snowfall forecast, focusing on the Monday night through Tuesday time frame. Higher amounts of six, six inches to a foot are favoring the northern mountains right now. Uh, but uh, the dreaded snow haul is expected with those East Canyon winds through the Albuquerque metro area. So right now there should be moderate to high confidence for those less than an inch amounts through the east side of the metro area. But the less than one inch currently forecast at Rio Rancho, uh, we could see that get a little bit higher, maybe a few inches come our forecast on Monday, just depending on how that snow hole is expected to develop. Uh, for the Monday night through Tuesday morning time frame. Here's a look at the chances for at least a tenth of an inch. So this is a percent chance of receiving at least a tenth of an inch or more. Most areas across northern and central New Mexico are seeing at least 50% chance or higher. Uh, but as soon as we go to an inch or more, that's starting to focus towards the higher elevations. So you can see that dropping down to about 0% chance at Albuquerque in the metro area. Of course, that's really going to highly depend on how that snow hole uh, shapes up. You go up to chances for four inches or more, you can see those areas focusing more of the northern mountains, but it is stretching to areas along the I-25 corridor, at least 30 to 40 percent chance between the Vegas and Matone areas. So any travel interests along I-25 will have to keep, uh, will have to monitor the forecast for this potential Tuesday morning. And of course, anything eight inches or higher really going to be limited to higher elevations above 9,500 feet, mainly the peaks of the Tissus and Sangre de Cristo Mountains. 
So here's a recap of this Monday night through Tuesday winter storm system. It is expected to be a long duration winter storm event arriving Monday night through the middle of next week, but most of the impacts are going to be associated Monday night through Tuesday morning with an intermission of sorts uh, late Tuesday through Wednesday with rain and snow uh, returning uh, Thursday before conditions completely clear out by Friday morning. The most impactful portion of this event is, is will be uh, the potential for dangerous East Canyon winds, likely through the gaps of the Central Mountain chain Monday night through Tuesday morning, with peak gusts of 50 to 60 mile per hour possible in the Albuquerque metro area. Slick winter roads and low visibility, mainly through blowing snow with associated with those East Canyon winds, will reach its peak Tuesday morning, favoring areas along and north of I-40. Thank you for joining us today, and if you have any questions concerning the forecast, feel free to contact or email us at the National Weather Service in Albuquerque.